Well, welcome back to Hunter Logan and Mike. This is episode 10. Well, let's get right to it. Every year, we have to come up with royalties to be able to play the music on HLE Radio and Saddle Up Radio, our sister station. The amount of that is $2,000. That amount is above everything else. It's above the monthly amount that it takes to run this station. So starting in November, I started advocating for those royalties. If I had the money on hand here at the station, I would pay it and not even ask for it, which many years I did. There was many years I paid the royalties without even saying anything. See, the thing is, many years, I covered what the radio station didn't. Only problem is, I covered it with credit cards. My personal credit. I had built my credit back up. Like I said, when we first opened the radio station, it was bad. My credit was a four something, three, no, 395, I believe. And I built it back up to a 798. Now, it's way back down. The cards are in. I ain't even going to go there. But we lost a lot of giving through COVID and stuff and other things. But what I would do is I would cover what was left over. When we get a good donation, I would pay the cards off or put as much on it as I could. But we don't have those cards anymore to be able to do that. So I made the need known. Now I'm happy to say and glad to say that we have the money for the royalties. They're due by January the 15th, so we will be broadcasting. And we're lucky that we just have to pay a blanket royalty. That's what's called a blanket royalty because we are a non-profit Christian radio station. But we raise the money. A lot of generous people out there. One of the things that always bothers me about this, one, I don't like to ask for money. I really don't. And I'm one of the stations that rarely ask. And I should probably ask more often. In fact, it dictates that I, as a nonprofit, it dictates that I should ask more often. But I guess because I have such a passion for this music, maybe. And I've been one of the ones that has been most consistent at it, HLE Radio. And again, it's not just me. There's a team here that doesn't get paid. We are one of the only places that artists, Christian country artists, that don't have a label, that don't have anybody pushing them behind them, We are one of the only places, one of the only outlets that they have. We're over 55,000 in Twitter followers. So we got a great social media presence. We're currently in 188 countries. I haven't did the fourth quarter analytics yet. That's just for the third quarter. We have multiple stages and shows. Shows that are syndicated, played on other radio stations. We had an artist do a $25 challenge. $25 challenge. They gave the first $25. And these artists have a show. And they play the artist too on the show on our station. And only two, I'm sorry, three artists gave. And I thought to myself, how sad. How sad. But, and this is what gets me. This is what gets me about this. And I guess maybe if I wasn't so vested in this, and I hate to say if I didn't own it because I really feel like God owns this station, not me. But I guess I'm co-owner maybe. I don't know. And maybe I'd feel different if I was just, somebody else was here and I was just showing up. But the artists don't have a problem calling me up. On my direct line saying, hey, I'm releasing this song. Can I call in and do an interview? 
and release it? Can I come by? Can I do this? I want you to push this for me. Can you do this? They don't have a problem calling up and asking for me to push it, do it, like, like it's nothing. But they never support the station. One bit. I have a problem with that. Now, see, you'll never hear me say that on the radio. You'll never hear me say that on the morning show. But I'm telling you right now, on Unmiked, I have, a, I have an issue with that. I don't think that's right. You sure like to use and abuse. And that's how I feel. You want to you wanna come. You want to take advantage of everything. This is not just... This has been since we've been doing this. I have had more artists take advantage of me and what I've offered here and not help out a red cent. Now, there have been a few artists, and I can count them on one hand, who have helped. And there are a few artists that support the station every month. You want to know who those artists are? Go look at who the select artists are. That'll tell you. We play over... Paul. We play a bunch of artists on this station. A bunch of artists on this station. Go look at the select artist page. You want to know who supports HLE Radio? Go look at the select artist page. On Saddle Up Radio too. Go look. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and guess what? Those select artists that support the radio station like that, they never call up and ask for anything. Hunter, I need you to do this. Hunter, I need you to do that. I'm doing this. Hunter, can you do this for me? Can you give me this? None of them do that. But all the other ones that don't, they do. Yes, the radio is here to play music. But it costs to run a radio station. I'm not in the bedroom. I'm not in my house. I have a storefront on Main Street. A place where artists can come in and people can see them. Look, we have more reach than terrestrial stations, than FM stations. We can go out further. We meet, I mean, we can reach more people that way. And some artists would never be heard of or have their music played if it wouldn't be for us. And I'm not saying they got to do pay for play. I'm not saying that at all. I'm simply saying when there is a need to keep this radio station on the air, they should rally. And they should help out if they can. If they can't, that's a different story. But if they could, they should. That's what I'm saying. And yes, I said it. That's why this show is called Hunter Logan Unmike. Now, you never hear me say that stuff on the radio on the morning show. I thank God for the people who financially support HLE Radio Monthly. It's because of them that we can stay on the air, stay in this building. I don't believe it's always going to be like this. I really don't. I can't wait for the day when we have enough to not only cover the overhead, but we can help those who are in need. Where when there's a problem, when there's a financial problem for some ministry that we can help out. I'm believing for that. I am. And guess what? I'm still going to help out. I'm still, when those people call, when those artists call and they're going to want this, they're going to want, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. I might not like it and I might not tell them nothing, but I'm still going to do it because I don't make this stuff personal. If I did, there'd be some people I wouldn't even play on the radio, but I play their music anyway. Can't take none of this personal. If you have art against your brother can't make it to heaven and there ain't nobody stopping me from getting to heaven i can promise you that nobody's that important but praise the lord we got our royalties raised and we're going to be broadcasting for all of 2022 unless the lord comes back before and i'm good with that too now my wife went to arkansas to her sister-in-law's her brother's house she's been gone a week now they were coming through and I brought her to Lafayette to meet them. And I'm going to have to go get her next week. She's running out of room in her sewing room. So while she's gone, I decided to go ahead and practice my Bob Vila skills. I decided to go ahead and tear down the wall between two bedrooms. Now, Bob Vila, I am not. 
And I am hurting in places I didn't know existed. But I started and got after it. Now, there were some electrical things I had to call my dad to come in and help me with. But for the most part, I got it. Uh, my son, one of my sons, the second one, one of the twins, he came uh, also and helped. He put the ceiling fans up and studded up a wall. I got a sheetrock closet, opened up the closet. And I'm going to make a walk-in closet. And our master bedroom, which is on the other side of the house, we're going to make that into a guest room. But I was able to recycle all the wood, too, from the walls. I didn't really have any cost other than buying the light, which I found on sale for 39 bucks. Regular, I guess it was going on clearance. It was like regular 89 I got it for 39 5,000 lumens. Four-foot light LED. 5,000 lumens flush mount. Perfect. On the beam that we built. It wasn't a load-bearing wall, but we made a like a beam to hide the wires in and put the light and got receptacles on the beam itself so she can plug in whatever she needs to on top of her cutting table. It's going to be really cool. So I've been going back and forth doing that, working at the station, building that. I leave after the morning show, and then I come back at night, try to do the work. I'm like wore out by Vila. I am not, but I'm doing it. In between all that, I got to do a sleep study. They finally called me for it. And in order to do the sleep study, I got to cancel the colonoscopy. Or I got to reschedule it. Sleep study is so important. Right? And I have sleep apnea. I ain't missing that. Man. So, this time, the sleep study, they already did it. This is to get the machine. This is to get the new machine, get the new sleep settings. So, this idiot... They get me all wired up and everything. I'm like, didn't we have more leads last time? He said, no, it's the same amount. Well, it wasn't because there was one that had to go uh, on my chest. He didn't put any there on my chest because that went down my legs. There wasn't none uh, on my back like he had last time. He said, what's your pressure? I said, well, it's at 11. He said, well, I'm going to start you off at 6. I said, why would you do that when I'm at 11? He said, well, I'll start everything off at 6. I'm like, man, look, you need to start at 11. He said, no, we'll start at 6. And I said, I don't feel no air here. He said, well, the new machines, they acclimate to your breathing and you acclimate to the machine. I'm like, I acclimate to the machine? That makes no sense. You get in there and I'm tired. I'm tired from working. I've been, I've been doing the Bob Vila thing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not hurting. So I'm like, all right, man, I'm up four to five times waking up. It was a, I was so miserable sleeping. I didn't sleep. Now, every other time that I've went in for the second round for them to set a sleep machine for me, the first little bit, you wake up maybe, but there's a good five hours or so that you sleep so good that when you wake up, you are rested. Like, I mean, you are, because they, they get you into a deep sleep because they find the pressure setting that is just right for you and you get into a deep sleep, you get into that deep realm of sleep and when you wake up, you rested, man. You felt like you, you feel like you've never felt before. I mean, you get a good night's sleep. I didn't feel rested at all. I felt unrested. I was tired. I woke up tired. I ain't never woke up tired from the sleep study. That dude probably went to sleep himself and forgot about me or left because there's no way he just that right. So I don't even know. I asked him in the morning. I said, what was my pressure setting? Oh, I can't tell you. I said, why? He said, well, the doctor don't want us to say anything in case he reads it and adjusts it different or something like that. But that don't make no sense to me. I'm like, I don't care. What is that? I said, well, I don't know about where I'm at. But he couldn't tell me. I think that idiot went to sleep. Or he left. Who knows what? But I think I'm screwed. For as a sleep machine. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to need a miracle on that one, I believe. 
Anyway, that's the week. Caught up in real time. So, I'll do a week or two weeks, however we're going to do this. But now, we're where we're at. So, till I catch you again, HunterLogan.org, everything Hunter Logan. Oh, forgot about Man on the Middle Cross. We'll do it on the next episode. I'm going to write it down. I got to tell you about that. Some things happened on that one. Yeah, I'll tell you about Man on the Middle Cross on the next episode. I'm going to write it down. Hey, I hope you have a great week. Check me out, HunterLogan.org. Check out the music. Any social media platform there is, digital downloads, however that works. Check me out. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff too. Hey, remember, Duke 28 and 2.